Hi, this video is all about uh, common places to make sign errors when you're doing algebra, um, particularly things like quadratic equations. Um, so I'm going to just launch straight into it. The first place that I always find people have a bit of difficulty is when they're solving a quadratic equation using the formula. Um, and negative numbers in here really do cause the majority of the issues that people have with this formula. Once they've learned how to substitute numbers in uh, and they know what using a formula is about, the main thing that gives people difficulty is the negative numbers. So I'm just going to take you through a couple of the things that cause people a bit of problems. First of all, um, you have to know that this formula is at the beginning of your uh, exam if you're doing GCSE. Um, and therefore you can always just look it up. You don't have to remember this formula. And what the formula does is it works out the values of x in a quadratic equation like this. a stands for the coefficient of x squared, b is the coefficient of x, and c is the constant number on its own at the end there. So what we need to do is we need to fill in, in this position, all of the numbers. Now, the first thing, the first sign mistake that people will make is here they see a minus b, okay, and they put down minus 5 at this point. Okay, that's a mistake. That's a mistake because b is already negative. b is a negative 5, okay, and therefore when you do negative, negative 5, or take away, subtract negative 5, it ends up being a positive 5. So you really need to be careful with that. The first mistake that you're going to make if you're not so good at your negative numbers is you're going to put a, po a negative 5 there when you need a positive. Now this plus or minus symbol um, you know we, we won't dwell on here now but it just means there's going to be two, uh, two answers, a positive version and an answer where we use the negative at that point. Um, this is the position where the second mistake is going to happen. And people quite often use their calculators for this sort of um, calculation. Um, and even with calculators, they get this wrong. Because what they do is they type in minus 5 squared. OK? And actually, they need to be making sure that they put brackets around that. So if you're doing this on a calculator, make sure you use the brackets function. Um, because it's going to tell the calculator that you're trying to square negative 5, not that you're trying to do negative 5 squared. Um, so you really need to make sure that at that point you're doing negative 5 times by itself. Negative 5 multiplied by negative 5 makes positive 25, of course. So that is ca that can be a real mistake. And another thing that people write here, they write the 4 correctly. They write A, which is 3 and they write the value of c, which is negative 7. Okay, All so far, excellent. And if you do that on your calculator, it will sort it out, no problem. But what people, if they're not doing it on their calculator, they're just not thinking about it. Um, they will put uh, negative, and they'll just do 4 times 3, which is 12, times 7, which is 84. So they'll be writing minus 84 here. That's a big no-no. Okay, The reason being, um, that, of course, you're taking away negative 84. This number here, if you ignore the minus, 4 times 3 times negative 7 is negative 84. And so, just trying to use brackets, even if you're writing it down without using your calculator, if you're just writing it down on a piece of paper, the brackets are going to remind you of what you're doing. So we've got three possible places where you can make a mistake using this formula. You could make a mistake by putting the wrong sign at the front, could make a mistake by not including brackets on that number there, and you could make a mistake if you just did that as a, a minus 84 and not obviously a plus 84. So this all simplifies down to minus 5 squared is 25, that's plus 84 over 6, okay, and then in here 25 and 84 makes 109, I hope. OK, and then we've got over 6. Now, at that point, you're going to put it on your calculator or whatever, but you might have put it on your calculator earlier. Um, just bear in mind, you're going to make mistakes if you don't think about those negative numbers and if you're not conscious that negative numbers often lead to mistakes. OK. 
Right, the second place where people make mistakes with negative numbers in algebra is in questions like this one. Okay, They're asked to simplify an expression, or they need to simplify it in the course of a, uh, an equation or something. And what we're looking for is to multiply out the brackets. So I normally use these little arrows here, and I say, right, what's that going to be? 3 times x plus 4. Well, I know that 3 lots of x plus 4, I need to multiply both parts by 3. And in here, I need to multiply all parts by 2. So I get 6x minus 14. Can you spot it? The error there? The error there is a sign error again. All right, This is really crucial, this one. Um, there are two ways of thinking about it. I think I'm taking away two lots of negative 7. If I'm taking away negative numbers, it should be a plus. Okay, taking away negative numbers has the result of adding those numbers. Um, the other way to think about it, of course, is to do minus 2 times minus 7, which makes a positive 14. Okay, so just be really careful when you're doing that. If you see a couple of negatives in a bracket situation like this, you've got to really think to yourself, um, am I doing this correctly? Have I checked all of the signs are correct? Okay. This then, of course, you can put the 3x and the minus 6x. Now, this is another problem, isn't it? Obviously, 3x and minus 6x, some people uh, would just put 3x there, but they have to think really carefully. Get minus 3x and plus 26. That is how you simplify that one. Key point being this p positive 14. You need to get a positive at that point because we're doing a minus times a minus. OK. Um, the third one is really one that I just talked about on the last one, but I put it in here as a quadratic equation because this is quite often something that people make a mistake on. They look at this, they do all the right things, they say, yeah, my 6x squared, I've got a 7 there, I've got to put these two together somehow, and I'm going to get 7x, so that's what I do. Okay, but they're wrong, they're not really thinking it through. Okay, if you go back to the very basics here, we've got a positive 8 and we've got a negative 15x. And uh, when I'm teaching people how to do negative numbers, I use a number line. If I'm starting at 8, and it doesn't matter if it's an 8x, let's use an 8x. OK, and now I'm taking away 15x. OK, that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I make that minus 7x. So the number here, sorry, the symbol here, needs to be a minus, OK? 8x, take away 15x. Don't fall into the trap. OK, last one then. Um, and this one is sort of similar to something, again, that we've already looked at. Um, this is an equation. We're not going to go on and solve it. We're just going to point out the problems with these negative numbers. Um, I've got to, I think here, I could multiply by negative 7x. both sides of the equation. Okay, So what I've got is I've got minus 7x multiplied by the left hand side equals, and what the minus 7x here is doing is it's cancelling out that divide by minus 7x. So we just end up with the 5. Um, and at this point people will start to make mistakes um, if they're not being really careful. Okay, I've done that one correctly but lots of people might be tempted to put a plus there. So just be really, really super careful around your negatives. The negative numbers, the, the mistakes that people make with negative numbers in algebra um, do cost quite a lot of marks in exams, and uh, you, you want to be wary of that.